Let's have a look at the new model of the Quancheng UVK-1 transceiver. This is the UVK-1-8 with metallic shield in front. And this is the UVK-1 standard model, which is plastic. On the side, you can see the PTT button, which is slightly different in the UVK-1-8. Top of the radio is almost the same but different knobs. On the left you can see the knob used in TK11. Front of these radios, I mean like display, is the same and the right side of the radio is also the same. So USB charger and so forth. Underneath the battery we can see the model which is the UVK1-8 5 watt transceiver and dual band and also this which is a bigger battery, a UVK1, also 5 watt radio and dual band. The size of both radios is the same, also interior is completely the same. This bigger battery is 2.5 amp hour and the smaller one is 1.4 amp hour. As you can see that almost the same construction, just the bigger battery is maybe 2 centimeters taller than the smaller one. Both batteries are compatible with both models, so you can mix them. Let's check the spurious emissions on the new Quancheng UVK1-8 with genuine firmware. I have set two frequencies, 145.500 and 433.500. I'm going to use the attenuator and my spectrum analyzer. Asperius emissions on 433.5 MHz with 40 dB attenuator are as follow. You can see the signal on the fundamental frequency set to level 0 and we can find 8 spurious emissions. The strongest one is somewhere around 3 GHz with level minus 30 dB. The signal level on the fundamental frequency has been set to level 0. And as you can see that couple of spurious emissions appeared in the spectrum, the strongest is on minus 40 dB. Then we can find also some other ones on 70 centimeters, 820 megahertz or 954 megahertz. And now the same test, but with different firmware. I'm using the Foxtrot 4 Hotel Whiskey November firmware into my K1 radio and I need to set the power level to high. On 70 cm band, we can see the spurious emissions and the signal on the fundamental frequency, which is currently set to zero. Some other spikes appeared on the screen, and the strongest one is around 3 GHz and minus 30 dB level. On 145.500 and high power level, we can see a following situation. The fundamental signal set to level 0 and we can see 8 spikes on the screen. The strongest one is number 8 around 954 megahertz. The output RF power test I'm going to make with the Suricom Sugar Whiskey 102 and 100 watt Tamilot which is up to 1 gigahertz. So I start on 2 meter band and you can see SWR 1.0 and the output power is 5.53 watts. On the 70 cm band we can see 1.0 SWR and 7.0 or 6.95 watts. And uh, just for comparison I'm going to test it with the Nisei DG503 power meter. We start on 2 meter band and 145.500. We can see SWR 1.0 and 3.37 or 38 watts. On 70 centimeter we have 3.50 watts and SWR is slightly higher, 1.13. And finally, I would like to test this original stubby antenna. 
As it is a dual band antenna, I would like to test it on 70 cm band. And as you can see on the SWR plot, the SWR is between 3 to 4. When I release the antenna from my hands, the SWR gets a little bit lower. This is because my body acts as a counterpoise. But when I also move the antenna across my room, the SWR is also slightly changing. This is because the nearby objects are far away or maybe nearby of the antenna which changes the impedance. But as you can see that SWR holds between 2 and 3. Yes, I know it's not very ideal, but uh, well, it's just a compromised antenna. And how do you think will be different these three the same stubby antennas? So let's check the antenna number one on 70 centimeters. Yeah, we can see that the plot looks like the same as before. Yeah, but uh, a little change when I touch the meter, the antenna two and also 70 centimeters, slightly better, maybe, a little bit lower as WR. And when I touch the antenna, it's getting higher. So the time for antenna three, and we'll see on 70 centimeters. Yeah, it's slightly, slightly higher. So I think that's, uh, pretty the same. I think all three antennas are actually the same. But now it's time to 2 meters. So let's check the antenna number 1 on 2 meters. Okay, and you can see that plot looks much, much better than on 70. Resonant frequency is right in the middle when I touch the meter. My body acts as a counterpoise, so definitely this antenna is made for two meters. Antenna number two, yeah, is slightly higher with resonant frequency, and when I touch the body of the meter, it gets lower, but it's still much higher than the previous antenna one. So it's time for the antenna three. And antenna 3, let's check it. Yeah, you can see that resonant frequency is um, even higher. And when I touch the meter, it is right on the upper end of the band. But still very low across 2 meters. So what do you think, guys, about this new Quansheng UVK1 radio? Thank you very much for watching and 73.